about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not Hello friends and enemies Welcome back to Happy For Now It's me Isabel here with a goals check-in So I did a goals video this one At the beginning of the year of course um, Like we all do And I talked about my 2021 goals I also did a 5 star prediction So I'm going to do both of those in one video We're going to um, talk about my goals See where I'm at We're also going to acknowledge if I've read any of my five-star predictions and watched that video together, I have a feeling I haven't read a lot, but let's just go through my goals first. So I feel like that's the fun part. <laughs> so my first goal was to read 200 books. I have currently, as of filming, read 216. <laughs> so we're good there. I think my stretch goal is still valid of 365. I'm not moving my Goodreads goal. I'm just gonna let it be 200 and we're gonna see how far I go. Uh, so that's going well. Um, my other goal was a 50-50 split on my diversity reading, and I would say if we included all of my LGBTQ books, I am at 50-50. Uh, I need to find a way next year to, like, better calculate slash, like, monitor identities I'm reading versus just one identity, because it's not just a checkbox. We all know this, but I do like to make sure I'm making an effort to pick up things that I don't see talked about enough, etc. And I wanted to read more new to me authors of color, which I think I have done a really good job of. I'm definitely picking up a lot of authors of color I've been interested in, haven't read yet, and prioritizing them. I think right now my split's like 40-60, so it's not great, but it's not terrible. Not great for me. But again, I think if we added in like my LGBTQ titles, I would be there. Okay, the next goal I had was to finish the series. So I said I wanted to read more Beverly Jenkins. I wanted to finish their Vampire Queen series, Green Creek, Side Changeling or Guild Hunters or start the Rick Riordan universe up again. Um, I think I've only read one Beverly Jenkins this year so far too. I read Wild Rain and one other which was um, it was a historical Hellions book and I cannot remember it. But anyways I read those two so that's good and next month is Jenkins July and there are a bunch of new audiobooks coming out for Beverly next month so I do plan to pick a bunch of those up and start busting through them um I'm kind of like not pacing myself but I don't want to just like marathon 20 historicals right now I've talked about it before I'm burnt out on historicals right now I did finish the Green Creek tril trilogy quad quadology the four books <laughs> that series quadology what is lord lord help me all right it's fine it's fine what are words Anyways, I did finish Green Creek, so I'm pretty happy about that, and I definitely do plan to pick up more of their Vampire Queen this year, so we'll see. <laughs> oh boy, this goal. Uh, catch up on arcs from 2020 and stay caught up on 2021 arcs. One minute. Okay, we will not be discussing my 2020 arc situation. I do, I'm gonna do something about arcs eventually. We're gonna, there's gonna be a whole video. But I am only 20 some odd arcs. Uh, worth for 2021 which is really not that bad most of them are later 2021 now and I've just got to go back and really catch up on some of the ones that I let slip because they were historical <laughs> but that's fine that is that is on my list I actually I have a whole thing I'm doing and we'll talk about it later there's gonna be a whole video about it it's fine it'll be fine I'm gonna you know I'm gonna like take a month or two at some point and just read all my arcs I think like that's just gonna be what I have to do to myself like I can't read anything else I have to read all my arcs <laughs> um okay then I want to track my book buying and borrowing 50 <laughs> 50 I've like kind of fallen off with it because I borrow so much from the library they don't necessarily always read right away so what I think I want to do is maybe maybe I'll do a live and we'll hang out and I'll catch up on my book buying reading like checkout spreadsheet and we can like go through and see what I've read from the library and I'll add that, etc. Because I don't want to like track everything I check out and don't read. Because I don't care about that. Like I mean I care. I know I'm getting my money out of my card. But um, I want to make sure I'm like maximizing. I will link to the video where I talk about my out of state library cards if you're interested in the description box for you. Which is part of why I want to make sure I'm maximizing my library usage. Then Instagram. I wanted to use Instagram. Which... I've started doing in like the last two weeks I feel like I mean I feel like I've been using stories moderately consistently this year I've been doing okay at Instagram I'm trying to actually schedule posts now my goal is three a week for the rest of the year we'll see <laughs> we will see if I manage that okay I am trying that is all I can say is I'm trying 
and that's the best I can do for you right now. <laughs> Um, hopefully by the end of the year, I would like to at least hit a thousand followers on Instagram by the end of the year. I'm at like 800 and something. I feel like that's really manageable. Uh, mostly I just, I like the platform. I just don't use it enough. Same thing for like TikTok. I really like it, but I don't use it a lot. All right, let's react to my five star predictions. I will link to the video down below and I'll put relevant clips up here for you. When I tell y'all that I'm probably about to just completely out myself for not reading any of these. I'm very nervous. <laughs> first of all, let's talk about the romance okay. ones. Romance I've ones. got four. Like I said, I'm keeping this really chill. So first of all, we have Emerald Blaze by Alona Andrews. This Emerald Blaze. I haven't read it yet. I'm trying to put it off until as close to the end of the year as I can because book three does not come out until next August. And I have a problem with that. And when I put this down, I didn't think about this fact. And like, I know, I know like a bunch of y'all are wanting me to read this and trust me, I want to read it too. But like, I don't know. I can't decide if I want to read it. If I want to read it now and then like do a whole huge reread by the end of the year. Like next year when it comes out. I love that I'm in red lipstick in this video and I wore red lipstick today. <laughs> I love red lipstick though. It's fine. Okay, next we have... Uh, let's see. Then we have How to Catch a Queen. So I did read How to Catch a Queen. I gave it three stars. I did not like it. Um, so I was wrong. Alyssa Cole didn't do me wrong. It just wasn't the book for me. Let's see what's next. Next we have Forbidden Desire by Robin Lovett, which I keep putting off because like I loved the planet oh, Forbidden Desire by Robin These Lovett. I do need to read this. I really want to read this because it's a plus size alien heroine, which I don't feel like I've read any of yet. So need to get to this. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. I am just really, really excited for the last book. I love Act Your Age, Eve Brown. It was a five star read and I loved it and it's actually six star. It's on my favorites of the year list already. Like it's for sure going to be on there. Okay, two for two out of four for the romance category. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, and some not romance five star predictions is Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifuko. Oh, Ray Barrier. Okay, I need to read this like ASAP. Still haven't read it. I did read Legendborn, which then was made me like, oh yeah, I need to read Ray Bearer, and I still haven't read it. Let's see what's next. Also, Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. I think it's going to be a five-star gothic horror for me. I think I'm really going to like it. So far, a lot of people I know have really, really liked it also. <gasps> okay. So I still haven't read Plain Bad Heroines, but I really want to get it from my library, I think, and the audio at the same time and like do a dual reading of it because I think there's illustrations in the book. But yeah, I still haven't read this. I do still think I'm going to really like it. Be a five star read is A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green. I loved it. Okay, I have the audio for this and I think I need to prioritize it like in July, honestly, because I read um, the first one in July of that year that it came out. Um, an absolutely remarkable thing. So I definitely want to read this still. And I do still think it's going to be five stars. The easiest five star prediction on this list is going to be Across the Green Grass Fields. Okay, so Across the Green Grass Fields, I did read. I did love it. I give it five stars. I love the Wayward Children series. There's very few of them that I've not given five stars to. Um, in general, I think as a whole, they are just spectacular. All right, y'all. Let me do the final count. I just stepped on Angus. Anyways, okay. Hi. I've read three out of the eight books I predicted. So let me know which one you think I should prioritize. And if you don't want to do that, drop, uh, let me know how your goals are going also. And if you don't want to do either of those things, give me a, um, a shocked face emoji because are any of us surprised that I have completely bombed reading my five star predictions? I am, I'm definitely not surprised. So go ahead and do that. Um, I will see, I will have links to those books in the description box as well as links to both those videos if you want to check them out. And I will have links to anywhere you can be my friend on the internet. Uh, I will see y'all in just a few days in my next video. And yeah, we'll bye. get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world